Ready for the first test. Listo para la prueba principal, primera prueba en la calle. Ok, so we're ready for the first test, listos para la primera prueba. Este, tengo mi computadora conectada al controlador para ver a cuántas revoluciones voy, siendo hasta la primera prueba. I have my computer connected to the controller to see the RPM since this is the first air test. I want to make sure that I don't exceed the controller temperature uh, that may pose some risk or, or the RPMs maximum for the motor. So, um, there's somebody coming, so one second. Okay. Um, it looks like we're clear to go. Exciting. Estoy emocionado. Es la primera prueba. Vamos a ver. Así que voy a poner esta computadora acá. I'm going to put the computer on this side so I can watch. Okay. It's still a little hard because the power steering is not installed yet. I already got the power steering. It's just going to take me a little while to install it. La dirección, por supuesto, está un poco lenta porque este, todavía no tengo dirección hidráulica. Pero pronto lo voy a poner porque ya la conseguí. Y eso va a ser ya más fácil manejar el carro de momento. Está dura la dirección, pero no tanto. No, es, no está tan mal. Necesito levantar el carro porque está muy bajo. Raspa un poco. En fin. Primera prueba. Yo creo que lo voy a manejar en tercera de momento. Y vamos a ver cómo va. Vamos a estar driving en third shift. We'll see how it goes. Uh, ok. Here we go. And so far so good, no noises no weird vibrations no, no, no hay ruidos, no hay vibraciones todo se ve bien vamos aproximadamente a 1300 revoluciones en tercera y la velocidad dice aquí que son 17 millas por hora 20 millas por hora ahora vamos a ver I'm using the uh, GPS for the speed right now because I don't the, the dashboard is still not working and I'm using also the computer to know the RPMs because I don't have yet the um, RPM working in the dashboard. Estoy usando el detector de velocidad del GPS para saber a cómo voy y el la computadora para ver las revoluciones por minuto porque todavía no queda el del tablero listo. Our first red lights. Nuestro primer semáforo. Vamos a ver qué tal. Aquí esperamos a que cambie la luz. We we'll wait for the light to continue the test. Uh, so far, so good. Todo va bien de momento. Vamos a ver cómo nos va en la siguiente parte. Red light is, uh, I mean, green light is on. Let's see. Ya cambió la luz. Siga. Vamos a movernos. I'm going a little slow first because I um, want to get a feeling for the car before I increase the speed. Voy lento hasta que pueda sentir cómo se maneja el carro, pero hasta ahorita todo bien. I need to pass these lights so I can drive a little 
uh, por, without stopping that much quiero pasar todos estos semáforos para poder manejar ya sin tanto tráfico pero hay una zona de construcción y hasta que la pasemos ya podremos acelerar un poco más until I pass this construction zone I'll be able to go a little faster at the moment there's just too much traffic Acceleration is not too bad, a little slower than what I originally thought. Uh, I may need to adjust the. Um, I may need to adjust the. Um, uh, the what? The, the settings of the controller to get more speed, but uh, for now it's okay. la aceleración se sintió un poco lenta hasta que pueda a, configurar mejor el controlador voy a poder este saber be careful with this connection because it, it twisted and disconnected uh, hasta que pueda configurar el controlador posiblemente obtenga un poco mejor de, de velocidad o de, de condiciones de momento puse los de normales los de default y vamos a ver cómo nos va por un rato y, y cuando pase eso ya después de un rato voy a empezar a configurar un poco mejor a ver qué, qué um, resultados tengo uh, as I say this is the I have most of the default settings for the controller so I'm going to see how it goes for a little while and then start playing with the settings to see if I get better speed or better mileage um, but so far so good temperature of the controller 37 degrees very, uh, very okay temperatura del controlador 36 grados um, hasta donde recuerdo puede ir hasta 120 grados sin problemas por lo tanto todavía estamos bien estamos esperando un momento más para el siguiente luz verde tal vez debería haber ido para el otro lado donde hay menos tráfico pero bueno the traffic and we are driving um, at 42 miles per hour right now ya pasamos el tráfico vamos a 43 millas por hora algo así como 60 por hora y todo sigue bien todo estable uh, parece que parece que quedó bien voy a acelerar un poco más para ir a 50 millas por hora tengo duda de cuántos amperajes usa a 50 millas por hora I'm going to speed to 50 miles an hour I'm curious to see how many amps it draws at 50 miles an hour Let me see, a little faster, okay, this is 50 miles an hour, uh, and at 50 miles an hour, it draws about 270 amps, which I think is okay, uh, 50 millas por hora, está usando como 220 amperes, lo cual me parece bastante bueno, uh, así que, creo que quedó bien la conversión, los frenos frenan bien, Brakes working great. Uh, alignment was good. Uh, la línea, la alineación está bien también. Uh, so everything is good. Uh, I guess I'm going to start typing, uh, stop typing now. Uh, I can, uh, I believe the conversion was a success. And thanks for watching. Voy a, voy a dejar de filmar ahora. Creo que la conversión fue un éxito. Todo se ve bien. Y bueno, muchas gracias por, por ver. Hasta luego. Hello again, hola de nuevo. Uh, I'm here celebrating the first ride of the electric car. Estoy aquí celebrando el, la primera uh, manejada del carro eléctrico. After this, we are going to go to try it in the highway. Después de aquí vamos a ir a la carretera a probarlo a ver cuánto, qué tal tu corre. Gracias. Hello, here we are uh, back in the test of the Sentra. Estamos de regreso en la prueba del Sentra. I'm about to go to the highway and see uh, how it drives and uh, the maximum speed or see if something vibrates. Estoy por meterme a la carretera y ver si algo vibra o no y cuánto es la velocidad máxima que, que puede agarrar o cómo se maneja el, el tráfico de, 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 de la carretera. Vamos a ver. Es la primera prueba en la carretera. 
this is the first test in the highway let's see okay here we go speed is 20 miles per hour 23 28 30 miles per hora 35 38 Vamos a 40 millas por hora. Vamos a ver. I think I'm going to switch the four gear at this particular place. Since I'm going to go a little faster, voy a cambiar a cuarta velocidad. A ver cómo se maneja. The controller is telling me that it's overheating a little bit, so I'm just going to take it easy until I have a chance to put the cooling water cooling for the controller. El controlador parece que está calentando un poquito, así que lo voy a tomar con calma hasta que tenga posibilidad de uh, ponerle el sistema de enfriamiento al agua. Pero como quiera, ya vamos a 52 millas por hora.
Uh, voy a dejar de filmar ahora y voy a regresar a mi casa a ver que a recargar el carro y bueno uh, fue un éxito la prueba este, he recorrido hasta ahorita 18 millas y aproximadamente va a la mitad de la carga usada o sea que creo que la prueba fue todo un éxito este, gracias por observar y bueno más información después hasta luego Hi, well, we're back from the um, test drive we did 20, 28 miles and it still has about 40% of the battery left so I figured it would go like the 50 miles that I uh, originally estimated so this is, this is good uh, I guess I'm just going to go again you know, through a quick resume of what the, what the car, uh, the components are in case that uh, persons that have never seen the, the series before and basically what you do is you get a regular car standard because automatics are more difficult to convert and you remove the gasoline engine put a big uh, electric motor and then uh, get a controller which basically says how much power to pass from the batteries to the motor there's a fuse there for safety and then uh, you get a bunch of batteries and you put batteries in the car as many batteries as you can and as the car can support safely and uh, connect it all together and connect it to the throttle which is passing the information of how much power to pass to the motor uh, also the battery the accessories battery still needs to uh, stay because everything that this was running before the wipers the lights the uh, uh, power brakes anything that is this was running still need to run them the, the, the horn etc radio so this still needs to be here, but since there's not a radiator, this is the, since there's not an alternator anymore that will charge the, this battery, now we need a DC to DC converter. So this is going to take some of the power from the other batteries and, and, and feed this one for, for 12 volts. Also, since there's not an engine anymore, we need a vacuum pump that is electric now. So the power brakes are still working. Um, over here we have... Um, an emergency disconnect which can be pulled from inside the car so in case of an emergency this is just pulled and, and it disconnects now um, here in the dashboard are the indicators I have uh, some indicators here which is basically are telling me was the charge of the car or, or of the batteries and how many amps I'm passing to the uh, uh, motor um, the rest is kind of uh, stays the same. Oh, let me open the trunk. And in the trunk, I have the rest of the batteries. I have nine batteries in the front and eleven batteries in the back for a total of uh, twenty. And this is the charger where, where, I, where I plug. And this is going to have a cover, of course, and then some carpet. But uh, here are the rest of the batteries. And well, eventually, I'm going to just uh, have the connection here so I don't have to open the trunk for charging. This is going to go here uh, so I can plug right into this door. And finally, I'm going to show you the charger of the car. This is a regular 250 volts uh, plug, and I just have a breaker for emergencies or for maintenance. This is not part of the car, this is something else. Uh, but this is this is just my charging station. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to align a car, any car. Since the alignment is not good, uh, now I need to align this car and I want to show you how I align the cars. Uh, final note, we, we did 28 miles on this car with the full charge. And 10 of those 28 miles were highway. We did 70 miles per hour, and that's no problem at all. The, the car behaved really good, and still has like 40% charge left. So I figured it will give me 50 miles per charge as I originally estimated. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video of the conversion of a Nissan Sentra to an electric car. Bye.